suppose you want to find the velocity of a bullet so how do you do that so it's quite a simple setup this is how you can find the velocity of the bullet so have a block hanging by the thread and you just fire the bullet and the bullet will get stuck inside this wood and the whole thing will jump up and will come to a rest at an angle theta so we can measure this theta and that's all the information we need to find the velocity of the bullet so this whole setup is also called ballistic pendulum which is a standard experimental setup to find the velocity of any projectile so it gets stuck so we are going to find the initial velocity of this whole system by conserving momentum and then from here to here we are going to conserve energy to find v0 and from v0 we can find v so let's do that so a to b momentum conservation so initial momentum mv final m plus m into v0 now energy conservation from b to c so here initially the energy is half m plus m into v0 square and finally it is at rest here so only potential energy so this height it, this whole setup is gets is risen by l1 minus cos theta so initially it was at l now it is at l cos theta so it has gained height of l minus l cos theta so m plus mgl1 minus cos theta so from both the equations we have two variables so we get the value of v which is this so here we are asked that we are given that uh, mass of the bullet is much less less than the setup so this comes to be 2m by m root 2gl1 minus cos theta our answer now what is the fraction of bullets initial kinetic energy that turned into heat so that's the only energy lost is because of heat only so from here to here let's find the change in energy and that will be the energy turned into heat so heat this ratio we need heat upon initial kinetic energy so heat is initial kinetic energy minus final kinetic energy so we are talking about from a to b so initial kinetic energy minus final kinetic energy is the heat so upon kei so this becomes 1 minus kef by kei kef is half m plus m into v not square and kei is half mv square now this ratio of v not by v we can get directly from our first equation so we do that and we get this and here if we neglect m our answer will be 1 minus small m by capital m